So today is a treat, not only for you guys, but for me, because we're actually hanging out with my buddy Maurice, and he's gonna take us to a really cool secret spot somewhere in New Jersey where we're gonna find some map turtles. A lot of map turtles. A lot of map turtles. So we got our little masks, snorkels, and fins. I feel like Scuba Steve. Yeah, and if we're lucky, we'll catch some uh, big snapping turtles and okay. painted turtles for sure. All right, stick around. It's gonna be a lot of fun, because I'm telling you. <laughs> a good portion of my life has been all about action still holds true. But now I pour all that time and energy into wildlife conservation, education, and the pursuit of knowledge. This is Camp Kenner. <laughs> there is something so cool about going where animals live. Whether it's getting down on your knees and digging through the dirt, or in this case, making like a turtle swim along the river floor. It gives you a strange and amazing sensation because you are putting yourself in this other world that exists side by side with their own, even though most people never explore it or even acknowledge it. <laughs> that way. First little map of the day. This is awesome, man. I didn't think I'd be finding map turtles here in New Jersey. Pretty sick. He's got another one. He's got a big female. <laughs> oh my god. There's another one. Here, hold this one. Go get it. I got it. Wow, this is sick. Woo! Big girl here. So uh, Maurice found us these two right now. We got a male and a female. You can just see the size difference between the male and the female. There was a third one, but. You missed it, eh? No worries, but these are common map turtles. And they have a pretty uh, wide distribution in the United States right here. But so cool to be out here in uh, doing some freshwater snorkeling and catch these guys in these rivers. And you come here all the time. Huh? All the time. And, then, and look at the sexual dimorphism yep, on these. I, I mean, was mentioning that. Whoa. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the female is so much bigger than that Right. Male. And that's a, that is a mature male. So that is an adult male common map and he is able to breed with this lovely lady here large and in charge and she's squirting me here but that's pretty rad I'll tell you what let's get some shots all right we're gonna go release these guys underwater in the light and we'll see if we can get you some cool underwater footage of these guys swimming because they are so good at swimming. they have to be to negotiate these currents of these rivers so here we go Oh, she got sharp claws. <laughs> All right, she's gonna be going fast, let's see. Ready? <laughs> that was awesome. Oh. That was great. Got this one. That was so good, man. She, she, like she hauled ass. Oh, shoot. She was cruising, and then she did a quick 180 and faked me out, so, so really cool. She played us. She played us. All right. All right, let's get this guy. Map turtles like to hide in areas where there are fallen trees or debris that they can hang out on for basking when needed which explains why Maurice's secret spot here is so perfect for finding them. It is seriously like shooting fish in a barrel. Pardon the expression. Uh, turtles, dude. So many turtles. They are everywhere you look, making this a lot of fun. You didn't disappoint here, bud. We yeah. got ourselves a eastern painted turtle right here. Nice little... As I drowned slightly. Yeah, an adult uh, male map, common map. Now the really cool thing about the map turtle 
uh, in this area, it's kind of special. This yeah. is almost like a... A disjunct population. Like a relic, maybe, perhaps. E exactly. That they, they Basically, what we're saying is that this population of map turtles is not running concurrent all the way through their range. There's actually, exactly. it's a broken piece, yeah. uh, be it by geography or just who knows what yeah. happened. They exactly. could have been introduced, but they're here now. Yeah. And uh, it's just incredible, you know, because I lived up in this area, not not New Jersey, but I wouldn't think map turtles were up here. Right, exactly. When I first found them kayaking down this river, I was surprised myself. Wow. And I had to go get a, a, a book to really check the, the range and see if it was uh, normal to see them. But yeah, there is this dis disjunct population. And, and of course you have the Eastern Painted Turtle. Oh, and he's a little upset at me right now. But uh, the Eastern Painted Turtle, or the Painted Turtle, Chrysemis picta, is the most wide-ranging uh, turtle in the United States next to the uh, snapping turtle, yeah. common snapper. But yeah, these guys are found from British Columbia all the way uh, to the Eastern Seaboard here. Uh, but man, uh, the other cool thing about these guys is what they're eating. They're going to yeah. be eating a lot of freshwater crayfish, freshwater Back. mollusks. Let me see if I can get some. Okay, we'll see what happens. But it's really cool because those guys, uh, if you look at some of the females, when the females oh. get older, when the females get older, they develop a really pronounced beak that they can crush these freshwater crustaceans with. So Maurice is actually looking for a crayfish, and that's one of their main diet, that's one of their main food items out here uh, on the rivers, man. Really, really great uh, turtle. The other thing I love about map turtles is how strong a swimmer they are. Uh, you know, we're in a river with a current. These guys have to be able to push against it, so it's really, really cool. And of course, the sexual dimorphism with the size, that's always impressive. Adult male and the female we saw earlier, so much bigger. Also, that tail is just massive. And the uh, map turtle gets its name because of all the different lines on this animal. It looks like a topographical map. So, kind of cool. I'm starting to get hypothermia out here. I may want our friend to stop looking for the uh, crayfish. I don't know. It might be time for this Florida boy to uh, get out and get warmed up. Hey, Maurice. Psst, Maurice. Don't worry about it, bud. No. We're gonna. Oh, well, this is look at that. <laughs> there are on. freshwater clams that they eat. Uh, you'll also find freshwater mussels in this river, and they're they're quite large. I didn't get one now. Did you say freshwater and mussels? Snails. Exactly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> freshwater mussels and clams, and this is what they're eating. All right, and they have to have those strong beaks uh, and strong jaws to crush through those to get to the soft, gooey food at the end. Well, what do you say we let these two go? We had a great time here in New Jersey. Found a nice population of map turtles. I'm gonna leave you guys with some shots of this little dude swimming away, and I'll see you next week. So long. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to Camp Kennan. And if you'd like, share the video so we can spread the word and share the love for reptiles. See you on Thursday for the live stream at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Woo! It's, cold. it's time for me to go fast.